Hi, my name is John Savile, and in this video, I want to quickly talk about the new Windows Azure Express Route. Now, traditionally, when we think about networking and connectivity from Windows Azure to our on premise, we think about the site to site virtual private network. And this really looks like the following. So we have our Windows Azure subscription. In here, we create an affinity group, which is linked to a certain region in Windows Azure. Within that affinity group, we create a virtual network. And this enables us to define certain IP ranges we want to use, and then virtual subnets within that, into which we create virtual machines. Now within the virtual network, we create a number of cloud services. So I can have multiple cloud services within a specific virtual network in Windows Azure, and then within those, that's where I create my various VMs. So I have different virtual machines running in those cloud services, running in Windows Azure, that's sitting inside an affinity group, which is a region within my cloud subscription. But then also, I have some on-premise infrastructure. And within there, I have virtual machines, I have physical servers, and I want connectivity between them. And the way this works traditionally is I use the Windows Azure site-to-site -site virtual private network. And what that actually consists of is in Windows Azure at a virtual network level, I create the gateway component. So this is a gateway. I also, on my on-prem, I have a gateway. Now this could be um, remote access services, Windows Server 2012. It could be a hardware gateway appliance. And effectively what happens is we get a site-to-site -site VPN bi-directional. So this enables IP routing between my on-premise infrastructure and my Windows Azure virtual private network. And that's great, but I kind of get limited in terms of speeds. So this is maybe 100 megabits per second. I'm traveling over the public internet. So even though this is encrypted with IPsec, that can be off-putting to some customers. Also, as it stands today, as I recall this, I can only have one site-to-site -site VPN connection. So if I had a second or a third on-premise location, I can't connect it directly to that virtual network. The only way I can get traffic to route is the traffic would actually have to route into my, this on-premise data center, which could then route it through into Windows Azure. So in a DR scenario, I would have to write some PowerShell to move the gateway between my various on-premise locations. And so while this works, and there's continual improvement in this, and there's changes coming, I think they're looking to add multiple gateways to fix this, this is still not an ideal scenario. So Microsoft have announced ExpressRoute, which is in preview right now, but that will go GA. And this changes things. So with ExpressRoute, I still have my Windows Azure subscription. I'm still gonna create virtual networks or virtual more of them. I can have one, I can have multiple. And I'm still gonna create my VMs in this thing. Then there's two routes to use this. So let's say I still have my on-premise over here. Maybe I have multiple on-premises. And I have my virtual machines. So I have my VMs, I have lots of them. So there's two modes in which Express Route is gonna work. One of them is we use an IXP an internet exchange provider. And this could be something like an Equinox. This is one of the major ones that's going with initially. And think of this as a, a fiber hotel. This is a location, so this is the ISP, and essentially they have connectivity to all of the major ISPs, so the, the Comcast, the Verizons, they all connect into this. And Microsoft are gonna connect into them, so directly in their Azure data centers, and they're going to connect in great big fat pipes connecting into this IXP. So now as an organization, you have two ways to use this. Either you can actually host your infrastructure at one of these IXP points. So I actually host my servers, my VMs, inside that partner. So I get very fast connectivity. The other option is I get private fiber connections from my premise into that IXP. 
and then they will handle the routing into Windows Azure. And I can actually get up to 10 gigabits per second here. So I've gone from that 100 megabits per second of a site to site VPN to 10 gigabits per second. Now I'm gonna pay, there's different rates you can select. Obviously the faster the speed, the more you're gonna pay. But now, this is not going over the internet. This is going over private networks. So I'm going via this IXP. So that's a great solution. That's from my entire Azure Cloud subscription, and I pick which virtual network should be included in that to my on-premise locations. This is Express Route. This is one of the options. The other option, once again, I have my Windows Azure Cloud service. I have my virtual network. And I have my on-premises. But maybe today, I'm using like a, an AT&T AVPN, an MPLS cloud. So actually what happens is, I have this big MPLS cloud that currently I'm using, which all my different locations just connect to from this MPLS. Windows Azure can now participate in that MPLS. So what this now means is, I don't really have to change anything. All of a sudden, Windows Azure is just going to become part of the MPLS I'm already using. So at and is the partner initially, but again, that will grow over time. So now my on-premise locations, through that, that mesh they can just all communicate anyway, will now extend into Windows Azure. And kind of think that's up to one gigabits per second. Again, these numbers will all change over time, and I, I can do different increments of speed. I obviously pay more for the faster the speed. But this is the second way of using the express route technology. So again, I can use an IXP. So basically I'm gonna have a fiber connection from my on-premises to the IXP, which has dedicated connections to the Windows Azure infrastructure, not over the public internet and very, very fast speeds. Or I can use the MPLS scheme, where my existing MPLS connections will now sort of merge into Windows Azure as well and just be able to route. Again, one gigabit per second, very, very fast speeds, not over the public internet. And I have these choices. Now these won't be a fit for everyone. Microsoft are continuing to work on this site-to-site -site VPN technology. But now you have additional options when thinking about that connectivity. And what I've got up on the screen right now, these are two great links that talk about really some frequently asked questions around this and more details on the pricing. So you can go and actually get that for yourselves. So I hope this was useful. Hopefully you see how ExpressRat is kind of fitting into that connectivity. And I appreciate your time. Thank you very much.